Hey everybody, welcome to JDM World. So, you've watched all the videos, you've done all the research, and you've decided I'm buying an Oculus Rift VR headset. Well, before you spend that money, there are four things you need to think about before you jump in. First, you need to think about your PC. The PC that you need to run a Rift is not cheap, right? So, you know, a lot of people think I'm gonna buy a headset and that's the only thing I need. Well, no, uh, you, you do need a, a PC that is, you know, at a gamer PC level, right? So I think it's very important that uh, you make that purchase first before you buy the headset and make sure you run your evaluation tool against that PC to make sure everything comes back in the green, right? So. Uh, when you uh, when you check out your PC and you run the app that you download from the Oculus website, it's going to look at your CPU, it's going to look at your memory, and it's going to look at your uh, USB ports, right? Those those are three big ones, and your video card, right? Um, most people will have the video card port uh, part covered, memory and CPU, but most people, well, maybe not most, but many people get uh, get tripped up on the requirement for USB, right? Um, if you look at the specifications. Uh, you're going to want to run three sensors and we'll talk about that in a minute and to do that you're going to need two attached to USB 3 and one attached to USB 2 right um, if your PC comes back and it doesn't support or have uh, have the USB in place to support you can uh, buy this well, we'll put a picture up here uh, buy this unit that I'll have a link to in the bottom that should solve those problems but make sure you run that evaluation tool against your PC and make sure it's good to go up second are the sensors. Uh, when you buy your Rift kit, it's going to come with two sensors. And two sensors are good enough, but if you really want to have a great time and experience 360 gameplay, you're going to need that third sensor. And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about before with USB ports. The third sensor requires an additional USB port, and these sensors use a lot of bandwidth. So um, if your computer doesn't have uh, the newest USB chipset, um, it might uh, be advantageous to go ahead and buy that USB add-on port, drop it into your PCI slot, and, uh, and, and connect all that way, right? Um, typically, in a three-sensor environment, you're going to have two sensors in the front and then one sensor in the back or to the side, uh, and this will make gameplay incredibly smooth, right? You hear a lot of people complain that when I turn or if I move my hands too far or put them, put them behind me, uh, the, the Rift game or the Rift environment loses tracking um, on either you or the sensor or your hand or something, right? Well, in a three sensor environment, um, that almost never happens. We've, uh, we've been playing for quite a while now with three sensors and it's rock solid. So uh, make sure you consider purchasing the third sensor and that third sensor is also going to need an extension uh, USB cable and you'll want to look at an active cable uh, as opposed to a passive because that distance does uh, cause some problems with connectivity. Up in the third slot is floor space. Um, the Oculus Rift, especially with three sensors, is not a stationary VR uh, experience. You can move around. Some people call this room scale. Um, so if you have three sensors and you place these around the room pretty far away, I, you know, I recommend having an 8x8 eight eight play environment um, with that's clear, right? now. When, when you have this headset on, if you haven't played a lot, it can be shockingly real, right? Um, you know, playing Robo Recall from time to time, you will teleport to the top of the edge of a building. And there have been times where I've looked down and, you know, you get that vertigo feeling like, oh my God. And, and you'll want to step to the left and right and you'll want to spin around. Um, and in an eight by eight environment, you have enough room where you can reach your arms out and spin and not hit anything. That's very, very important. So think about your floor space. Um, more is better, but up to about eight by eight is, is really where things uh, are good enough. Okay, and finally, the last thing to consider before you buy your Rift really is your vision. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm nearsighted. Well, I'm old now, so I used to be nearsighted, but now I need a, a correction up close and far away. You know, about right here, everything's great. Uh, but right here and a VR headset, those two things don't mix, right? So, uh, you know, when I put a VR headset on the, the Rift, I adjust the, uh, the intra, intraocular spacing, right? You slide the uh, lenses left and right to line them up with your eyes. 
Um, for me, everything is horribly blurry, right? Um, it, you know, it without some type of corrective lenses in play, you know, I, I can't play the game at all whatsoever. Now, I did a lot of research into this, and everyone, well, not everyone, but many people say, oh, it's tricking your eyes, and if you're nearsighted, you need to wear your distance vision uh, glasses. You know, I don't, I don't know that that's, uh, that's necessarily correct, right? So these, uh, these glasses are distance correction only, and uh, when I play the game with these on, everything's still super blurry. Now I've got a pair of transitions that I wear that you know do the up close and the uh, the distance correction depending on tilt. And when I wear those, everything is crystal clear. Um, you know, it 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 changed for me the Oculus from a you know game that is just it, it's unplayable, right? And you can't read the text. It's, it's really horrible to an amazing experience. So think about your vision when you buy this. Think about how you want to wear glasses um, and even do some research into inserts for the uh, for the Oculus where, that you can buy prescription lenses for if you don't want to wear these because um, you know with a larger than average adult size head um, and if your glasses are are of the larger size it can be quite difficult to get them inside of the uh, uh, of the headset itself so something to think about uh, as you uh, as you purchase your Rift. I hope these four recommendations are useful to you as you embark on your voyage with uh, Oculus Rift. Um, if, uh, if you have any additional questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments and we'll answer those uh, as quickly as possible. If you found this video enjoyable and useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks and enjoy your new Rift.